Yo, 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 what's going on, guys? It's your boy E6 Apathy, and today we're gonna do some gameplay. <laughs> Yo, 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 what's going on guys, your boy E6 Apathy, and today we're going to do a Q&A using the hashtag Ask Apathy, and let's get into it! There's been like at least two awkward growth situations that I've been in, but I'm going to talk about the less, the less gross one, because I think the other one is pretty damn gross. So this one time in high school, I believe I was in the 10th grade, I had to go take a shit. Because, you know, it happens. And I usually like taking it at home. Who doesn't? But at this point, I couldn't hold it. So I went to the bathroom. This is a small bathroom. It's just one of these bathrooms located, like, at the edge of the building. You know, it's very small. It has two stalls and, like, one urinal. And there was this guy already taking a shit. So it's so awkward because they were right, like... It's just one thing dividing us. We're literally both right there, you know, and it's so quiet. It's like a small ass room. Like imagine, imagine this room, like it's that small. So we're just there and like, we're just like, you hear the noises and everything. And it was just so, it was so awkward and embarrassing. And I tried my best just to keep composure. Cause like, you can hear everything, you know, we're literally like sitting right next to each other. Nobody is saying anything. Like everyone's quiet and all you hear is like farts and poops. And it was just so damn awkward. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. But that was probably... There's another one, but we'll leave that for another day. I think I'm gonna definitely win a couple events this year. Um, I've been putting the time, a lot of time in this game. My team has been putting the time. We've been practicing. We're looking very strong, really good. I have a really good squad right now. You know, Sensor, Saints, Dito. I think they're all really talented. They all bring a lot to the team. And we just like complete each other. Like we're just, we just connect each other. We make ourselves better. And I honestly think, man, I'm gonna win a couple events this year uh, with Doug being back. You know, we the duo. Saints, Dito, you know, we team together as B. We have that chemistry. We're looking really nice, like I said. And I'm really, I'm very, very, very excited for this year. And I'm very excited to be attending this qualifying event. Even though it's not like, it's just a qualifier. I just love playing LAN. I love playing with my team. So it should be fun. My last time teaming with Doug will probably be... This will be my last time teaming with Doug. Because we will never, ever break up. We're the duo. We're staying forever. Unless he quits and does like some reality live show or some sort. Then... That's on him. Then I'm probably I don't I don't I really don't know what I'm gonna do, but I might just continue to play or something. But other than that, I mean we're planning to stay together for a long time, a long time. A long time is a long time. There's a lot of mistakes made by AMs and not pros, and I feel like the thing people need to understand is gun skill. Like it's always gonna be there. Like this, like Call of Duty, it's not that hard to shoot, right? Like obviously, some people have a little better gun skill. Some people have a little, or a little bit, have a little bit of a better shot. That's that's uh, obviously without a doubt. But gun skill, like anybody could shoot. Like the difference between like what people don't understand, the difference between like amateurs and pros, it's like a whole different bracket. Like it's communication, it's um, it's like positioning, it's like composure. You know, make sure you're not bitching and just focused. Like there's so many little things that amateurs don't do because they're just too new to it they're not that takes a while to build like especially like at that type of mindset like a winning mindset on top of that like when you see when you see amateurs play like they don't always do the right play you know they get cocky they try to do a superhero play I used to be a lot like that sometimes and like you like you see them like run into a building thing he's gonna pop a three-piece instead of waiting for his team like teamwork is obviously obviously involved in that as well and it's like amateurs all, lack all those things and that's something you get within time that's something like teammates have to teach you if you don't know like if you team with a team that let's say has so, some of those stuff and they slowly teach you you know they're like all right you gotta stop bitching all right you gotta start waiting for your team and you slowly just get better and that's like that's like the, tr the transition from being an amateur to a pro like the more teams you're on the longer you're on the team the more you play the, the better you're going to slowly get and you're going to understand that you know you got to keep composure, you got to stop your bitching, you got to wait for your team. All these little things that make a huge difference in becoming better. You the man, Gen Z. You the man. I don't got to tell you again because you know you the man. I would love to make Black Ops 3 tip videos. You know, I have the thing is like, it's so hard because... Like, I have tips. Like, right now, as of now, I have, like, good uplink throws. I have some movement tips. I have all these things that I want to tell you guys and I want to let you know because they're so, like, they're good information. But the thing is, like, the qualifiers right now, you know, 
and there's other tournaments and I feel like these are things that pros might never learn so as of now I'm just keeping them hidden so that's a huge reason why I don't make more tip videos because I know stuff I just don't want to put it out in the public because I want to have the advantage you know I took my time to learn these things or understand these things so it's it's kind of unfair if I just give it away but maybe within time like if they if they I'm gonna obviously use these things and within time they're gonna figure it out and then I'm probably gonna do a tip video on how to do this how to do that but I definitely want to do tip videos I love helping you guys out and as long as it's not crazy like I said, like somebody's hidden stuff that I know, then I don't mind, you know. I'll help you guys out all the time, boys. You guys are the homies. Much love. Of course I love you, man. I freaking love you. Sometimes it can be. I'm not going to sit here and lie. Sometimes this man drives me crazy. Sometimes I just want to, like, flip out because, yes, it can be, dude. Like, I feel like... A team is like having a relationship, you know, you guys, you guys fight, you guys love each other, you have fun, you know, at some point you hate each other, you argue, you know, you help each other out, like, it's, it's literally like a relationship, but like, when it comes to me and Doug, we're like, we're like more of a relationship than a team itself, because, you know, we argue more, we fight each other more, you know, we're cool with each other more, it's just like, it's, it literally is like that, man, it, it, it's weird, like, I love Doug, but sometimes he gets on my nerves and I hate him because he always picks at me like he was like, Oh, why are you doing this, Apathy? Oh, stop doing this. Oh my god, this. Oh my god. And it gets me so mad because like he just critiques every little thing I do sometimes and he doesn't do that to anybody else. And I could be like winning, I could be like 45 and like 30. Like I'm completely dominating, I'm raping. I do one little thing that's not even bad. It's just to him and like it irks him. And then he's like, Dude, apathy, you can't do that next time. Or like, like sometimes I understand he's giving me positive criticism and I don't mind it because I know he's trying to make me better and he wants better for the team. But he just needs to chill out. You guys feel me, right? The most embarrassing moment I have as a card pro is probably there's there's not many because I don't I don't really consider anything really that embarrassing. I'm not like I don't get embarrassed that easy, but me going 0-11 in the first event in AW against Fizzurf's team, I believe it was SB, I went 0-11. That was pretty bad. Like, that was a donut to the extreme. And that was, like, probably the last time I ever dropped a donut on the game. I don't think I ever dropped. Maybe once, like, online, and that's it. But, like, other than that, like, that was really embarrassing. The best experience probably has to be winning Nashville. I don't know. Winning, winning the event. Like, any event that I've won so far, like, it's the best experience. Like, you feel so accomplished. You feel so good about yourself. You feel like... Yeah, and you feel so happy that you finally did it. Like, you don't understand. Like, we work every day hard. We play. We play hours and hours and hours. We put everything aside to become better, to become better as a team. And we put in the time. And when you finally, like, everything you put into, like, everything you, you put in all your time and all your efforts to see finally succeeding, that feeling is so amazing. That's what I live for. That's why I play because I want to keep doing that. And I know I haven't been doing that much. No, hopefully we can change this here. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the Q&A. This has been your boy Apathy. Make sure to have a good day. I run out of time, but not this time. That was whack. Okay. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been your boy Apathy. And seriously, I'm out. Peace.